Yes, students, now see here this chart. First, read this chart. 1, this is 1 in 1's column. This is 1's column, this is 10's column, this is 100's column. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in ones we start from 1 to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In tens, so 1 10 is 10. 2 tens, 20. 3 tens, 30. 4 tens, 40. 5 tens, 50. 6 tens, 60. 7 tens, 70. 8 tens, 80. 9 tens, 90. That is 1 10 is 10. 2 tens, 20. 3 tens, 30. 4 tens, 40. 5 tens, 50. 6 tens, 60. 7 tens, 70. 8 tens, 80. 9 tens, 90. Okay. Now, this is hundreds. 100 is 100. 200 is 200. 300 is 300. 400 is 400. 500 is 500. 600 is 600. 700 is 700. 800 is 800. 900 is 900. Okay. Now, see here. 100 is 100. 200 is 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Okay. Then after that, see here largest number. We are going to discuss about largest number. What is the largest single digit number, double digit number and three digit number. In a single digit number, so what is the single, single largest digit? 9. 9 is a single digit. It is a largest single digit number. This, this is single digit largest number. In two digits, largest two digit number is 99. Two nines we have to take. Two nines we have to take for two digit number. Two digit largest number is 99. And after that, three digit largest number is 999. Three nines we have to take. 3 nines, 999 is a 3 digit largest number. Single digit largest number is 9. 2 digit largest number is 99. 3 digit largest number is 999. Okay. Now after that, if we add 1 to this 999, then you will get 1000. You will get 1000. How you will get 1000? If you add 1 to the largest 3 digit number, then you will get 1000. How you will get 1000? This is the largest 3 digit number. So, for this largest 3 digit number, if we add 1, then what happened? 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 means 0 in 1's place and carry over on 10's place here. Again, 9 plus 1, 10. 10 means so 0 in tens place and 1 carry over on hundreds place. After that 9 plus 1, 9 plus 1 again 10. So that complete 10 we have to write. So this is how to read this one. This is a 4 digit number. This is 1000. So if we add 1 to the largest 3 digit number then you will get smallest four digit number that is thousand thousand is the smallest four digit number so in the same way if we add largest single digit number to this one then you will get smallest two digit number for this largest two digit number if you add one then you will get smallest three digit number okay smallest three digit number so what is the concept here for largest largest single digit number if for largest single digit number if we add one then you will get smallest two digit number in the same way 
for largest three digit number if you add one then you will get smallest three digit number that is 100 in the same way for the smallest largest three digit number if you add one then you will get la smallest three digit number that is called thousand this is thousand okay now students see here so the next concept place value in three digit numbers three digit number place value see here first 894 894 so this is given so eight hundreds nine tens four ones this is in ones place this is in tens place this is in hundreds place it means eight hundreds nine tens four ones eight hundreds just before in the chart we discuss eight hundreds means eight hundred nine tens means ninety four ones means four four ones is four nine tens ninety eight hundreds eight hundred then if we add eight hundred plus ninety plus four eight hundred and ninety four what is our answer eight hundred and ninety four okay next here digit here 8 is a digit and 9 is a digit and 4 is a digit 8 in hundreds place so that is 800 800 9 in tens place that is 9 tens 90 4 in ones place that is 4 8 in hundreds place that is 800 9 in tens place 9 9 in tens place 90 4 in ones place 4 4 in ones place that is 4 now the next one 336 it is a three digit number so expansion form we have to write this in expansion form then how to write in expansion form see here this is in ones tens and hundreds 3 in hundreds plus 300 we have to take 300 plus again one more 3 in tens plus 3 tens are 30 plus 6 in ones plus 6 ones are 6 this is expansion form 3 in hundreds plus we have to write 300 plus again one more 3 is there that is in tens plus 3 tens 30 and 6 in 1's place, 6, 1's are 6. Then what it means? 3 hundreds, 3, 3 hundreds, 3 tens, 6 1's. 3 hundreds, 3 hundred, 3 tens, 30, and 6 1's, 6. If we add all this, then what you will get? 336 336 336 expansion 300s 3 tens and 6 ones 336 this is the expansion this is complete expansion so how to expand when three digit number is given so this is the place value place value if it is in 8 is in hundreds place that is 800 9 is in tens place 90, 4 is in ones place 4. Okay. Okay, students. Now see here. Comparison of numbers. Then how to compare the numbers? How to compare the numbers? See here. Compare the hundreds. Compare the hundreds. The first is compare hundreds. Like suppose if 358 is there, 976 is there then how to compare these two numbers how to compare these two numbers first we compare hundreds place so this is hundreds place and this is hundreds place this is hundreds place first we have to compare these hundreds places first so in this hundreds place which one is the least that is the least which one is the greater that number is the greater here in between 3 and 9 3 is less so it is less less than okay 
first what we have to do so we have to compare hundreds first then if in second case what here in the second case second case given if equal compare the tens equal means suppose if it is 284 272 is given if equal means if hundreds place is equal this is hundreds and this is hundred in this hundreds place if hundreds places are equal then so, so we have to compare tens places when when hundreds places are equal then we go to compare tens places what is there in tens place 8 and what is there in tens place 7 in between 8 and 7 which one is greater this 8 is greater this is greater than okay one by one we have to check if once in hundreds place the different different ones uh, tens hundreds place values then no problem if hundreds place equal hundreds place values given then we have to compare tens places and in third case what again if equal if equal means if it is like this like this means if hundreds places equal and tens places equal then what then compare ones compare ones places now we compare ones place in ones place in six and eight six is less less than so according to this we have to compare the second one so this less than this this greater than this okay so on the basis of the first number we have to compare the second number don't compare second with first first with second we have to compare 284 is greater than 272 380 58 is less than 976 and 286 is less than 289 so means if once the hundreds places are different then stop there only so decide on which one is greater and which one less if hundreds places equal places equal numbers given then you compare with tens place if hundreds and tens both equal then compare what you compare ones places okay now symbols so what is the symbol represent this the symbol greater than greater greater than symbol so this symbol represent less than less less than this is the symbol this represents equal to equal to this is greater than symbol this is less than symbol and this is equal to symbol greater than less than and equal to okay see here so how to use these symbols suppose if 45 is a number and 50 is another number how to compare these two numbers using symbols here so first we have to check this first first number okay first number how to compare this is here two digit number is given when two digit number is given just we compare tens place first here in tens place four is given in tens place five is given in between four and five this four see this one this compare with the second four four is less than this five four is less than don't compare like this okay for the first number we have to compare with the second four is less than is less than is less than symbol we have to use less than this is less than this symbol we have to use 45 it means 45 is less than 50 45 is less than 50 45 is less than 50 okay next if the question is given like this 50 and 45 50 and 45 then how to compare so in the same way first in tens place what is there first we have to see in tens place 5 is given and 4 is given so we have to compare first with the second 50 this 5 5 is more than this 4 it means 50 more means greater 50 is greater than so we have to use greater than symbol so okay 50 is greater than 45 here if 45 if 45 is given first then how to compare 45 is less than 50 50 is greater than 45 the meaning is same only 
if 45 is less than 50 or 50 is greater than 45 if any have the same the meaning is same only so we have to compare the first with the second on that base use your symbol greater than less than or equal to okay now here in exercise third so we have to write great less than or greater than in the boxes so given so make the number sentence true make the number sentence true here three sentence may three number sentences are given so this is the first this is the second and this is the third so in this we have to keep less than or greater than so see here so it's a two digit number this is also a two digit number when two digit number is given we have to compare tens places first here two three here two is there in first in second number three is there 2 and 3 in between 2 and 3 2 is the least means smallest one so less than symbol we have to take 22 is less than 33 is less than 33 okay now see here here in this second number sentence three digit number is given 1 2 3 1 2 3 it is a three digit number then this is 120 210 then how to compare when three digit number is given first we have to compare hundreds places in hundreds place one is given in hundreds place two is given so one one is smaller than these two we have to compare this number with this one is smaller than two means 120 smaller means less less than 120 is less than 210 here here we have three digit number 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We compare tens places, hundreds place. Here hundreds place and here hundreds place. In hundreds place 5 is there. Here 4 is there. 5 is greater. It means 500 is greater than 400. 500 is greater than 400. So in this way we have to fill using greater than and less than and we make number sentence true. Okay. Next. In the second. Put this list of numbers in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to largest. Here four numbers are given. This is the first number. This is second number. This is third number. This is fourth number. In this fourth number, we have to arrange these four numbers in ascending order. Ascending order means increasing order. Increasing order means smallest to largest. First, we have to write smallest number. Then how to compare? See here. Here all are three digit numbers. So we have to check tens, one hundreds place. What is there in hundreds place? Three. Three, one, two, one. Three, one, two, one. Three, one, two, one. It means one is smaller. So one, one. So in these two numbers, in these two numbers, we have one in hundreds place in these two numbers again in these two numbers again we have to decide which one is smaller so to decide which one is smaller again we have to check tens place here in tens place zero is there in tens place zero is there in both these numbers ones place and tens place one place ones place uh, hundreds place and tens place hundreds place and tens place same then you go for one's place in one's place zero is there and in one's place five is there so zero is the least one it means hundred is the smallest one then after that second smallest is one hundred and five these two over then after that in these two in hundreds place 3 is there, in hundreds place 2 is there. 2 is smaller, so we have to take 250. Then after that, 320. 320. Okay. In this way, we have to arrange in ascending order. Ascending order means increasing order. How to compare the numbers? First, we have to compare hundreds place. Then after that, if hundreds places are equal, then you go for tens. If tens also equal, then go for ones place. And after that, you decide which one is smaller and which one is 
greater according to the question you have to arrange your given numbers in that order okay now fill in the missing missing symbol using greater than less than or equal to so here so this is a three digit number this is a two digit number three digit numbers are greater than two digit numbers so blindly you put greater than symbol why three digit numbers are greater than two digit numbers now here both are three digit numbers 139 and 139 the same numbers means equal to equal to symbol we have to keep here 240 and 240 both are equal means equal to symbol we have to keep okay okay students now see students addition now addition of a three digit number so with carrying with carrying so then how to add these numbers with carrying so then this is ones place this is tens place and this is our hundreds place first we are going to add from right to left right to left first we have to add this ones place ones column so what is there in ones column seven and three seven and three seven and three is how much seven seven keep this seven as it is seven and after that add three seven eight nine ten ten so take ten here so in your rough column ten so if addition is more than nine if more than nine so after adding so the uh, the result means the sum is more than nine the sum is more than nine then what we have to do what so we have to do see here so listen carefully if sum is more than nine so the right value the right value we have to keep so below to that added column so means here we have to take zero the left the left digit so we have to keep the number so next place value on top of the next place so we have to take carry over on next place that is on tens place so we have to carry over on tens place like this how to take this 10 this right right digit we have to keep say so in ones place and this left value left digit we have to take carry over on next place value that is tens place value after taking after taking this we have to add this one in this column in this column then how to add see here 4 4 plus to 4 5 6 still here 6 and after that this one also we have to add 6 plus 1 7 7 is a single digit number it is not more than 9 so it is a single digit that we have to keep as it is 7 then after that hundreds column so we have to we have to add hundreds column what is there in hundreds column 3 and 2 3 and 2 3 plus 2 how much 3 and after add 2 4 5 5 5 is also a single digit that we have to keep in hundreds column that we have to write in hundreds column then what is the sum 570 so remember one thing when you are going to add so means ones place tens place hundreds place whatever it is if you get the sum more than 10 more than 9 so means double digit number more than 9 means double digit number then what you have to do the right value the right digit we have to keep so below to that exactly below to that added column and very next place that we have to take carry over on next place and after that we have to add that carrying number also okay this is the method when if we add a, a column so if you get two digit number then you have to take a one number in that column another number you have to take carry over on next place okay